You know, I'm part of two championship teams. <laughs> oh, I like yes. that. One well earlier done. in the year, now one now. I love that. Well, yes. we're very happy to have you here. Yes. Uh, your former team off to a 6-0 and start. And, of course, fans still wanting you to come back. <laughs> what are you seeing from this team now, seeing it from the sidelines, that they're doing well offensively? Uh, offensively, I mean, they always game plan every week. Uh, the coaches do a great job there. Uh, along with Coach Belichick and uh, Coach McDaniels, they're in there 24-7. They're finding ways to get a uh, running back open, a wide receiver open. Uh, they're finding ways to create mismatches, to create yards, to create plays, to score up points. No matter what type of personnel they have, they're going to find a way to put the best personnel out on the field versus the defense at yeah, that moment. We've seen it year after year, no matter who goes down with injury, even if you were sidelines, there was always someone that could step up in that. Yes. You know what? Uh, before we get into the football, my feelings are still hurt. Gronk <laughs> transferred to a high school in Pittsburgh yes. where Jason Taylor went to school. I go out and meet with him and his dad, try to talk him into coming to Pitt and getting a great education, uh -huh. and he decides to go to <laughs> Arizona <laughs> and party. What do you mean? You know, that would have been Arizona State to yes. party. Uh, yeah, I studying. went to Arizona. Oh. I, got, well, I was studying. Oh. You know, I didn't get my degree yet, but, you know. You don't need a degree. Yeah, I don't need no. a degree. Yeah, you know, I was on point. I didn't go to any pool parties there. Oh, okay. No, no I, they don't no, have I any was pools an a -plus in Arizona. I saw where you yes. lived in Tampa. I know about those pool parties. Yeah. Okay, back to business, okay? The defense. Bill Belichick, this defense is putting up numbers that might be the best that Bill's ever had. What's different? What's going on different? I mean, it's pr basically the same guys. What's new with the defense? Yeah. What are they doing different? You, you know, that defense is just outstanding. I don't really see anyone putting up points for, versus them this year. You know, they're in there, big plays like once in a while, but they're so fundamentally sound. Mm -hmm. And on top of being fundamentally sound, they got great leadership in the veteran guys. And mm -hmm. they're not just great leaders. They're also great players. And if you name them, Kyle Van Noy. Jamie Collins, Dante Hightower, those three linebackers, who would want to stand up in front of them? They're beasts, they're huge, they're flexible, they can move. And then you got the McCordy brothers, and you got the best corner in the league, Stephon yeah. Gilmore. Yeah. And then you got Lawrence Guy. These guys have been playing together, they gel so well together, and then on top of being coached by the best coach in yeah. the NFL. Uh, yeah, well, they're pretty yeah. good, okay? I'm tired of them being good. <laughs> yes. Anyway, uh, uh, a question Tony for you. Tony sounds so. like jealousy to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nobody cares anymore, okay? <laughs> How about this? So you talked about one of those veterans, Michael Bennett. Yes. Comes over. He's got this big personality type guy. Yes. He gets uh, suspended for philosophical differences with this coach. How is he, uh, the Patriot way is you're not allowed to speak up, you're not allowed to talk. How are you able to survive so long with Belichick and never have one of those suspensions? <laughs> it's a Seriously, question. you're this guy, you know, the koozie cups and then all the partying and all that stuff, but then how, do you, how are you able to sustain yes. that with, with Bill Belichick? Uh, you know, because um, you just got to show up. You got to do your job. Uh, mm -hmm. that, that's what they really emphasize there. You got to show up, do your job. And, you know, I had a lot of fun, but when it came down to football, you know, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I didn't know football the way these coaches know football. So whenever I'm at, at my job, when I'm at work, I'm listening to the coaches. I'm listening to the veteran yeah. players. And those philosophy how do you say that word? Those philosophical philosophical yeah. reasonings. Uh, uh, I'll just listen to the coaches, what they have, and they can teach me. University of Arizona. Yes, that's the University of Arizona. Yeah, no. exactly. You know, I'm still working on it. I'm still working either, on it. By the way. But, you know, I just showed up. Play football, listen to the coaches, and do your job, yeah. and you'll have a good time there. You'll be successful. No, it's, I think it's, it's that easy. To us. We have a yeah. great time here, but we also do our job. Do our job. Yep. Tony, exactly. Some of us, have Tony. A, that's why I love it here. You know, that's why I love you. it here. Well, we're yes. so happy to have you here. We are going to put you to work, even though you've dropped. How much weight have you dropped? Uh, I'm 250 right now, and I played at 262, 265, so I'm down 15 pounds. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm down like 60 pounds, yeah. but you know, I'm just you know <laughs> lean, oh, oh, ripped, well, lean, you, ripped. Your you shake. I saw your smoothie you made the other day. Yeah. Yeah, oh, the brain, the it. brain oh, fuel smoothie. Brain fuel smoothie. I agree. I agree. That smoothie is hands down. Tony, Instagram.